Saturday. Uh, can you tell us, firstly, uh, what the yellow arm we'd be interested in, obviously our injury situation, what can you tell us about how that's improved? It's not improving that, that much. Um, I think we, you know, we, we, you may lose, it's still early Thursday as we speak, but um, we may gain one and lose one, so it's one of those, so we're not none the real wiser at this moment in time. Um, you know, it's a very busy medical room, of course, and we're trying to get them back as, as soon as we can, so that we, you know, we, we have a bigger squad. But um, at the moment, you know, we we're good enough. We know we've got what it takes. Um, as the lads have shown in most of the games recently, you know, we've had a poor poor result against Sutton and a poor performance actually as well. Um, and we had the same the week before against Maidstone in the cup. But then we, you know, we was happy with the boys that were in the team for the other games that we had a good winning, winning run, a form. And it put us within two points at the, at the top. And now we, we, we got beat, but we're now three points from the top. But we're still, we're still there and we've got to make sure that the boys uh, you know, don't feel sorry for themselves because the squad's not big enough. Certainly the ones in the team should be saying, I've got to make sure that I stay in this team when every, everybody gets back fit. So hopefully that's motivation for them uh, to perform and run a bit harder than, uh, than we did against Sutton. Surely stopped a losing streak of three games against Chesterfield, winning 3-2 last time out. Um, how dangerous does that make them, obviously, yeah, well, come to us from the back of the wind. Yeah, that's right. It obviously uh, makes them dangerous because it, it gives them a little bit more confidence. Um, they, they played well as well. I mean, they, I, th I thought they deserved the result on the day. Um, they are a team that I think they've had seven, eight, nine nil-nils. Um, so it, that, that makes them dangerous because it means that if they can nick a goal, they'll be quite good at dropping in and parking the bus, as it were. They're not a parking the bus team, they've got a little bit of everything. Um, but they've also let in goals at times. Um, so we have to, you know, again, we've had a good look at them and just to see where we think that we can cause them a problem and, uh, and just make sure that they, they don't cause us a problem, you know. So we've got a... Um, you know, have a, have a good organisation, um, but we've got to have a little bit of uh, innovation as well, and that's that's important. Romani Medford Smith has been with us a little over a week. Um, what's he made of his progress so far? He's done all right. He's uh, he's a lot more settled now. I mean, obviously the, the game was only his second or third day with the lads, and we we tried to bludgeon him with all the information, um, and I thought he he did okay. But he and I had a chat, and we both feel that there's more to come from him. So, um, you know, this is a good game for him to open up and show our uh, show his ability and uh, what he's got and why we brought him here. Uh, so, I think he's enjoyed. He didn't enjoy the defeat like everyone else, but he's enjoyed trying to prove himself at this next next level um, from his last line, anyway. Um, so that he can impress his, his team at uh, uh, Reading and so uh, you know and he can prove himself to them as well because they'll be at all the games watching him. The table's pretty bunched up, isn't it, in terms of points and title challenges can still come from pretty much anywhere uh, yeah. in the league table. What's your reading of, of the table at the moment? Well we have to you have to look up um, because that's what you do. But of course, when you read the league table, you don't go like that and cover everything else uh, below you. Um, and if you do get a defeat, then there's all the, the results went for us above us. You know, there's only a couple of wins above us and a couple of draws. But um, there's always going to be wins below you. And it has concertina the, the league a little bit more. Um, and it just drags more teams. And if you're in the sixth, seventh spot of the playoff positions, you're the ones generally that the, all the others outside the playoff zone are looking to catch. Um, 
So all those become six pointers uh, when you play those teams. So yeah, it's a precarious position, but it's better to be uh, six than eight anyway. Uh, so you know we're pleased we're in there, and every win consolidates your position. So we've got to try and, as we said, and I think we're good enough to put uh, two or three wins together again. Depending on where the Yellow Army are in the country, it's one long trip and one shorter trip coming up, um, yeah. and for us as well. Yeah. Um, so looking forward to seeing them at the games. Uh, as always. Well, yeah, no, it's, you know, we, we, we owe them one. I've said that a couple of times, although we won the league, and I said it two or three times last year, and we ended up winning the league. So I think we, we paid them back for a couple of dodgy results that we had. and, and all I can say is that we, we feel it as much as them when we don't have a good result like that last away one at Maidstone. And um, we're always grateful for their support, especially the, the travelling that they do, because it is unbelievably na unbelievable nowadays um, with it on the roads of, of our motorways, especially coming home late, etc. So, you know, they, they, they put a lot of effort in, in doing that, and we do appreciate it, and uh, hopefully, in time, you know, they will see that as a uh, as helping us get the, the success that we're craving for.